Welcome back to The Reality Guys. I'm your host, Brian, and today I'm talking Love Island, Australia, Season 5, Episode 22. Everybody, it's a big day. It's a big day for me. Super happy at the end of this episode. I don't want to spoil the lead here, but Trent's gone, and I I yelped with excitement because I'm so happy that dude's out of the villa. Um, it, everyone's telling me, uh, like, they, everyone does, like, their little basic, uh, he's a great guy, and same with Nakia. So it was him versus Nakia at the end. Who's going to go home? And um, you have to be in a couple. I'm surprised they both just didn't get eliminated if they didn't want to couple up. So I, I don't know what they're going to get. If no more bombshells are coming in, what is the point of keeping Nakia? But I love that Trent got voted out. Uh, it made me so happy. And everyone's just like, oh, he's just such a good guy, blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, I, I it's almost, I guess they just don't care about anything that they saw in the videos. The videos meant nothing to some people. It, it But I, I was ecstatic. I, I, I was smiling ear to ear. I think the guy's an absolute bum loser. And he was single for a majority of the, the season for a reason, because no one really liked him because he's not that cool. He's not that good looking. He's not that interesting, like nothing about him. Like it's, it's like a bummer that this dude stayed this long and took away so many chances from some of the other men that were, that came into the villa. So it came down to a vote and you had to vote within your couple. So before we got to this situation, remember he was in a friendship couple with Savannah and, uh, they had to gather around the fire pit and the newcomers Clint and Harmony had to choose someone to couple up with. So Clint chose Savannah and Harmony chose Andy. So that left uh, Nakia and Trent single. And then what they had to, they had to do next was the couples had to go and vote amongst themselves and come back with one name. And I had the rundown right here. It was a four, four, two split. Thank God. Cause I don't know what they would have done in a tiebreaker. I feel like, he would have like found a way to stay and guilted Nikki into leaving. Uh, Tyra and Kale voted Trent. Zach and Lucinda voted for Nikki. No surprise there whatsoever. They're like, "What's your reason?" And they gave no reason. They're just like Nikki. Um, Georgia and Nate, Trent, Harmony and Andy chose Nikki. So that's one thing that's going to be preference tomorrow's episode is Nikki is pissed about that, and I think she has a right to be pissed, but. It, I mean, what is, what is what is what is he supposed to do there? Like he he, if she's sticking around, it shows that he's leaving the door open. I would have preferred it because it would have been awesome for. I would love if it was like a five-one sweep because I mean Lucinda and Zach were never voting for Trent, but I would have loved that that was the only vote he got. But that's going to be a main topic tomorrow. We'll see what happens there. Um, Chloe and Reed chose Trent. I was very surprised by that. Um, I thought Reed was gonna be with the boys, and I thought I wrote it down. It was done. I completely forgot about um <laughs> Savannah and uh, Clint had a vote as well, and they chose Trent too. So he's gone. Zach cried like a little baby. It, it, it was kind of it was kind of. I mean, some people are gonna say like, "Oh, they're such good friends." Blah blah blah. I I just thought it was pathetic because. This is the same, another dude that treats all the women in the house and some of the men like absolute crap. And then he's crying like a dog and baby when his best buddy leaves because he can't find a connection for weeks. And I was reading a couple of the Instagram comments before I did this and it's the exact same thing. It's like, how are you going to treat? It just it doesn't make sense to me. I don't get it. Um, the other major point of this episode is Harmony wanting to talk to Andy and Andy basically being very open to that he eventually does tell Nakia that he's gonna end it with her and she seems okay with it I I, at this point of the this point of the show I just I if you're not with in a couple I think you should go there's no reason to stay at all like I I, what is what is he gonna flip back and then that means Harmony would go so I don't know and none of the other dudes are going to move to Nakia so if Andy doesn't want her anymore he should she should just be gone but i guess we'll, that'll come down to recoupling but i don't know very interested to see what happens with that um savannah and clint kind of are bonding they bond over some old video games at 64 mario kart again they've only known each other for 24 hours so like how good is the connection um maybe it'll go somewhere that, i mean they're not going to win i mean really the, the people that have a chance of winning here are tyra kale Zach, Lucinda, uh, Georgia, and Nate. 
it's between those three couples. I, I really think it's going to be between, depending on how the voting goes. I don't know. I just don't know how. I I, I just don't want Zach Lucinda to win. I mean, I would be fine with Tyra Kale or Georgia and Nate. Nate's been through the most crap. Kale's also been through a lot of crap too. So I mean, either of those couples good. Tyra's an OG. Georgia kind of flip flops. So maybe that Tyra and Kale probably going to be right now if I had to think off of voting or how I don't even know how the voting's going to go. I feel like the super fans are going to do it, but that's who I probably think will win. We won two there. Uh, Harmony came in also and said she was into Reed. Like Reed stood out to her. And I thought for a second that Reed was going to go toward, like be interested in talking to her. Uh, he was like almost encouraging her to pursue interest in him. And uh, Chloe has rather said she had her full trust in Reed. I, just I, I don't understand i really don't but other than that uh, not a lot happened in this episode honestly it was really just like the the drama at the end was a majority of the episode but when you know that nobody else is coming in it's kind of like you you know the couples are pretty much set in stone so all the other kind like the, the nikki andy harmony they're not gonna win so it doesn't really matter like no one's gonna if even if they like even if there was live voting they wouldn't vote for them so it's just not a lot to really discuss here. And preview for tomorrow, like I said, Andy and Nakia talk. She's going to be, she felt, she said she felt embarrassed. Like she's wondering why the voting went the way it did. And Zach asks, he does some B, I wrote it down here. Zach does some BS for Lucinda. And I was talking about it on yesterday's episode. Like, I don't care about, the end dates and I, i'll tell you what another thing i don't care about is these people asking in these kind of cheesy corny elaborate ways to ask somebody out i thought he already asked her out but even if he did just i just it, it, to me it's just noise it doesn't it doesn't move me in any way i think i think it's kind of lame but just if you like the person just ask them out you don't need to do this like a bunch of bs and have everyone involved if that's just my opinion i would never be on these shows but whatever but yeah i'll be back tomorrow for episode 23 i haven't googled how many episodes are left just because i don't want to be spoiled on the winner so if anybody knows drop it in the comment I, I can't see it going longer than next week i just can't can't um we'll have surviving surviving barstool episode five tonight as um probably dropping around like 9 30 and um survivor and amazing race tomorrow and, and if you need to catch up with any of the Bachelor in Paradise stuff before the finale on Thursday, we have all those backlogged as well. And just tons of other videos that if you are if you have any reality interest, we, we there's a good chance we're covering it. So again, and I always say in the end of the video, if you have a show that you want us to watch, drop it in the comments. I will gladly check it out. But I will talk to you guys tomorrow. See ya.